doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. Today, we are going to make a hotel. Well, part of a hotel, and it's a capsule hotel, inspired by the capsule hotels in Japan. For this project, we are using foam board because we're making it in a hidden doll room. I'm starting out with two pieces of foam board. They measure 20 by 30 inches each. On the 20 inch side, I measure up 13 inches, draw a line, cut on the line to get a 20 by 13 inch board. Cut another one, I measure over six inches from the edge, score a line so it can bend. Repeat to make two. This is actually going to be two rooms. And I wanna add a window to each of the back walls. So I draw one and I know it's going to mess up how this room looks on the shelf, but I want it anyway. Cut it out. Take the rectangle of foam board, cut it into four strips that are a half inch wide, cut another one that's a quarter inch. Take clear plastic from packaging, cut a piece to tape behind the opening, glue the strips going around the window, add the smaller piece across the center. Repeat for the other window. On another piece of foam board, I cut a 12 by 14 inch piece for the floor. Glue the two back walls together, then glue just the back wall to the floor. I cover the front of the floor with a wood grain paper, then I cut another piece and glue it between the two windows, separating our two hotel rooms. I try to make them even because every inch matters here, but one room is slightly larger than the other. So I measure the floor and cut a piece of foam board that's 11 and a quarter inches long. Cover it with paper, cut two inch strips of foam board. I have two pieces that are the same length as a large rectangle and one to go between them. Glue them underneath, placing the shorter piece around the center to make a platform that we can glue into the room with a little storage for luggage and personal belongings underneath. For the bedding, I cut two rectangles of fabric. They measure 11 and a half by four and a half inches. I cut rectangles of felt and pinned them in place with about a half inch gap between three pieces. So around the edges, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out. I flip it between the two layers of fabric. So the felt is on the inside. We can top stitch in the spaces between the felt panels, but I'm just gonna leave it cause I don't think it's necessary because it will still easily fold up and lay flat. Make a matching pillow. I picked up this microfiber cloth from the dollar store. I cut a small piece for a no-sew blanket. Fold all the bedding and place it on the platform right in front of the window. I cut a two inch piece of foam board, glue it to the wall, making sure to glue it above the floor, but not to the floor so this wall can still open up. I add a half inch piece to the center to give the illusion that this wall is a little thicker. The basic construction for our hotel is complete. We have two rooms with storage and beds and the side wall can open up for easier play. Now let's add a few extras. I made this printable. Hopefully it's an air conditioning unit. Cut out the rectangles with a rounded corner. Stack and glue three together and keep one to the side. Stack and glue four together. Repeat to make two and do another stack of three with one on the side. Cut the center out of the front, then cut on the outer line, bend it on the line, make small cuts to make tabs. Take one of the three stacks and we're gonna glue those tabs going around on both sides. I have a little extra at the top, so let's carefully trim that off. Take the stacks of four, glue them inside, use the single pieces to cover up the edges, cut out the thin strips, glue two together, then I cut small notches so we can glue them across the opening. Cut out the black rectangle and glue it in the back, then attach it above the window. Cut out the remote, 
Glue the layers together with the image on top to make a remote. I printed our NetFrog TV on photo paper. I used double-sided tape to attach it to corrugated plastic. I'm attaching it to the wall that moves. I cut a long strip of foam board, cover it with paper, glue it under the TV, so there's a small shelf for the remote. I'm gonna add a small hook to the wall so we can provide our guest with a hanger. Cut circles out of poster board, stack and glue several together, take bobby pins, bend and cut them to make a small table. Cut a circle out of cardboard, add a circle of felt and cover it with fabric to make a small cushion. And the table and cushion can be stored underneath when not in use. Since these rooms don't have a bathroom, let's make an outdoor locker area that the dolls would walk by to get to the restroom. I'm using printables because it does need to stay flat since it's on the outside of the box. I'm just gonna cut on the outside and glue them to the side, covering the entire wall. So we can pretend like the dolls are storing their personal items before they go freshen up. On that printable, we included outlets and light switches and room numbers. I bought plastic mirror tiles on Amazon. They are sticky on the back. Let's attach it to the wall, peel off the film, giving the dolls a full length mirror. Let's add another shelf above the TV and maybe a little art on the wall. Completing our capsule hotel inspired mini hotel. Now we just need to put a picture of Japan outside the window and our dolls are world travelers. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of Japan. So we're just gonna go with a pretty landscape. And since the backdrop is not attached, when we get the right picture, we can always switch it out. Since this is a hidden doll room, space was limited and I really wanted our hotel to have at least two rooms. So the capsule hotel seemed like a great choice. It's a tiny space, but with the wall being able to open up, it's easier to get in here and move around. The dolls can sit at the little table on the cushion and have a meal. We'll have to give her some headphones if she wants to watch TV so we don't disturb the neighbors. Place the table and cushion underneath, then lay down the bed for a little shut eye. Thank you for joining us while we made a mini hotel inspired by capsule hotels. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.